back to the Model Kit Factory. My name is Nubs, and this is the Gundam Avalanche Exia Celestial Mobile Suit GN001. Alright, this is part three. Um, normally I try to snap this guy together on film, on, on camera for everybody, and I'm uh, not going to do this guy this way. Um, this one has been seriously of ups and downs and headaches and this and that. So, Oh, update on part broke. So I've glued it back together. It works. Um, I have to. I have a little excess glue. I don't know how good you can see it. But I have a little excess glue on the outside. I have to. I have to finish that. Uh, sand that off. Flatten and smooth everything out. But <clears throat> I did get that part right. I got this part glued. Get off there a little hair. So once I do that, I will be putting that back together. Um, hopefully, I never have to touch that piece again. I'm so scared it's gonna break. All right, let's get to the legs. Um, I don't have too many qualms about the legs. They come out really decent. Um, I don't like that shakes by itself, but that's just personal preference. Um, I do wish some of these lines would line up smoother. Like, I wish, you know, you see it's, it's got the outline for it, but I want it to, you know, if I was designing a giant robot for battle, uh, them nooks and crannies and holes and stuff would be weak points in the armor. And that's exactly how I see it. Uh, this, this is exactly how I see it. This is the logic in me. Um, that's an ugly ass seam. That's why I put it on the inside. But, like, this knee thing, you know, it, it, it fits fine, but look at that gap all the way around. That looks like ass. Come on, guys. Let, let, let's get a little bit of QC around here. A little quality control. Let's, let's tighten this shit up. You know what I'm saying? We spent 50, 70, 80, 100 dollars for a figure. And make that motherfucker pop. Stop stop with the nasty bullshit. That's nasty. It looks like ass. <clears throat> I bet you didn't have a gap like that in the TV show. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, you can set his, I don't know, called space skis. <clears throat> you can set them up two different ways. You could ride them. Or you could, uh, you know, set it up back here like this, which is, like, not feasible whatsoever um yeah that'd be some hellacious power but <laughs> um i'm not sure why they gave him mini fingers on his feet yeah, we can do this don't break it please don't break it yeah. oh, oh we're probably gonna break. watch me break this motherfucker on <laughs> i'm gonna break it on damn tv on fucking youtube here we go here we go it's like I want to pick your nose. Come here, see. Come here. I pick it. But I don't know. I I get the light the beam saber comes out of it. Maybe maybe in the TV show they do more with it, but it just seems like it's a waste. You know, you literally could just put a port there because according to the box, he's not holding the beam saber's handle in this. It's just the beam saber that connects to it. Boop! Actually, it'd be one of these, but and that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not picking on. It. I was. I'm just curious about it. That's all. I'm just curious. Logically, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, it's a Gundam. It shouldn't have to, right? <laughs> uh, I will probably. I don't know. I don't, oh, yeah, yeah. There's another little thing. I don't know. Um, I did this one first. This one come out really good. I like it. It, it, it's not too tough. Boop. And I didn't even take the nubs all the way off because I was scared it wouldn't come out. I did this one the same way. But this one's eh, free as fuck. Not sure. <laughs> um, I was putting stickers on this. Um, the dry transfers was giving me hell. Uh, this one right here came out great. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Even if I got close enough. But right here on the corner... It's peeling, and I even cut the little piece to fit down in there perfect. I, I, I kept cutting it, kept cutting it, and trimming it, trimming it, and that little sticker just rolls up. I don't know. I don't know. This 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 kid's been a headache since the end. Uh, I literally lost this guy for three fucking days. Um, it was on my floor under my bed. Like, how the hell did you get from my work desk to there? And I mean, it's huge. How do you lose it? I don't know. But anyway, uh, since we're on the shield, doop, 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 boop, boop. 
Um, I see a lot of quality control in this figure that needed it bad. Um, like this. You know, it, it, I get it pulls out. But um, I got another one around here that does this too. Uh, oh, where is he at? Shit, I can't see him. But anyway, his shield opens up like this. And, but it's, it's firm. It's, it's, it's beautiful. But let me find it. All right, I'm not going to waste time on it. Anyway, and you got the little guy. Uh, you got to respect the little guy. The little guy saved your life. I guess this would be like a buckler. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get sticky. I do like it, though. I like it. I like the, the, the simpleness, the simplicity of it. Uh, okay, we're going to get the Big Daddy Kane here. Uh, you got lightsabers coming out of your feet and hands and shit. I don't know what the hell you actually need a physical sword for. <laughs> But that's pretty awesome. I do like that. I like that a lot. It's like cut the cake. <laughs> but if you look at it, look at it, look at it like this. Uh, I played Dungeons and Dragons a long time ago. So you got gray sword, long sword, and dagger, <laughs> or short sword. Yeah, probably short sword. There you go. You got great sword, long sword, and short sword. Mm. That's how you nip them all in the bud. <laughs> I like this though. I, I like the the idea, the thought behind the, the big old swords. Um, that's what makes it fantasy. It's like it's huge, but you know, you're in space. You can you can swing a twenty ton sword. Hey man, clear some trees. You know, it's <laughs> uh, a little pointy. Uh, I haven't seen anywhere on the box yet for storage for all this stuff. Which is okay. It's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Uh, getting all this stuff out of the way. Uh, this is my favorite part of the actual build. Bam. I know. It's lame. But this thing, um, I own several stands and none of them, none of them compare to this. Absolutely none of them. Just the, the, the shit you can do with this guy. Boom, boom. Turn this one. Wah, wah, wah. I love it. Every stand needs to take note. This is what we want. This is what I want in a stand. Every time. Every time. This is what I want. I don't care about the green. But this is what I want in a stand. Okay? This is exactly what I want in a stand. Dude, the stuff you can do with this guy and not have to take it damn near apart to do it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you feel with this guy. It's not a bad thing. Not bad at all. I love it. Look at that. Stand him up 100% straight just about it. It's, you can't complain with that. That is, that is awesome. That is absolutely, oh, I'm about to break it on, I'm going to break it on live on YouTube right here, right now. It's just how we roll, baby. Oh, there we go. I got it. Ha, I didn't break it. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> but anyway, this is all I've got for now. Um. Please join me back for my part four, my actual review. Um, thank you for everyone who has liked and subscribed my video and has stayed with me from the beginning. Um, and as always, I wish everybody to have a great and beautiful day. Nubs is out.